This was interesting, Tom. So what's, what's interesting that I've been watching is that um, she came in tonight, she needed to survive the debate. And I think she's done that. Um, she has not collapsed the way you know, Joe Biden did. Uh, but she's not convincing. She's merely, and she's, I, I feel like I'm being lectured by my aunt, um, is how I feel. I do not feel warmth. I do not feel, I do not feel leadership. Uh, I feel she's doing the best she can with the tools that she has and the way she was coached for this moment. But I'm not feeling leadership saying I trust that leader to go negotiate around the world. I don't trust that leader to go negotiate with Congress. That's not what I'm feeling. And once again, he's getting, getting poked at him, and he is staying short of full fury. And I think he's doing a very good job, you know, responding and reminding us what the truth of what was happening. Vinny. Uh, if you had to guess, who do you think is winning? Like, if you, uh, what, what do you feel that the American people right now are uh, the Ameri it's not That's not how I'm looking at it. I'm looking at independence. If yeah. I'm thinking independence, 70, 30, they have Trump ahead. I don't care about the the American people, left or the right. MAGA's not changing, and the progressive right. left's not changing. The independent 70, 30, they were Trump right now. Okay, and then, and then Adam, you were talking about the, the, the women with the abortion. Uh, I mean, yeah, and, not, not the men. They're not. No, what I'm saying no, they're is. They're not doing well, it. Just unless, the women. But what I'm saying is, do you think that that's shifting? At all, or it's can it? Are any of those women going to vote for Trump? What's, what are you asking? I'm not like from tonight, from listening to what. Yeah, he's where are you going? What are you thinking? Abortion is up. Mutech I don't know. I'm just thinking. I just feel like the way that she's performing right now. Everybody could. Everybody tomorrow from the Bill Mars and every. They're going to put her on a pedestal and make her seem like she's the she's the second coming. She's going to be the savior. I'm telling you right now. That's, I'm getting messages right now like, oh, my God, our boy's not doing good. Oh, my God, he's failing. Like, I got four messages in a row saying that Trump is losing the debate. Okay, Adam. Really? I'm so, dead serious. I got, just got the, another one. The, you're okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting okay. text that, that Trump getting, is losing. I think there's only one time that Trump kind of lost his cool, and that's what I was sort of saying. Can Trump just keep it cool, bro? You saw with Biden. I mean, Biden is literally... This isn't the Crumbling. same fight, though. There's two different yeah. f fighting uh, styles make fights. Yes. This is a different style it's of a, a totally fight. Different style is, of fight. He can't the other one, the you don't have mode. to do anything. The one, the other one, the guy was knocked. It's like Tyson fight six seconds. It was over with. This is going. She's going right. ninth round, 10th round, 11th round. It's going. There is no knockout yet. Right. He, he's not going to knock her out. She's doing okay. This is yeah. coming back right here. Uh, there was only one time he lost his cool when he's like, you're going to take the guns and you're going to all that kind of stuff like that. You even were like, oh, chill out, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a vi she's a viable opponent, but she's not a viable candidate. If that makes sense, she's not likable. She's not that smart. She's just doing talking lines. She's a DEI candidate. Respect. I get it. This is what the Democratic Party is at this point. Well, <laughs> and she could beat Trump. The, where I'm at with Trump right now is he is so much more qualified than he was eight years ago. I understand why people, dude, eight years ago it's crazy. No way, Trump. He knows what he's doing at this point. He's gonna have people around him at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, are there things that she's doing better at, namely uh, the abortion issue and uh, a couple other issues? Yes. She has the Democratic machine behind her, and she also has mainstream media behind her. How many times has the uh, moderators interrupted her? It's Trump against the world at this point. And, you know, she's saying that he's a disgrace, and he's saying that she's destroying America. And the voters and the independents are going to basically but, determine what's But it's true. been Trump against the world since he announced that he was going to go. And think about it. In 2020, they had a global pandemic that came from China that still has no accountability. And everybody had to vote from home. And Joe Biden did that overnight leap right now. This is what, what I'm worried about this election is, is the 20, let's say what the number, the, the realistic number, 20 million people, Pat. And you said the stat when we had the debate with Candace and Chris Cuomo. How many of the states... 20 million people are going to be here. How many of the states that we have that you don't have to show photo ID or any proof of citizenship? Mm -hmm. 16? 16? Amy, 10 seconds. They're coming back. Yeah. 10 seconds. I mean, they talk about vibes. Joy, you know, she's the candidate of joy. The vibe I'm getting is disingenuous. And we could go through every single point that she made and find where it was disingenu disingenuous and where she just used yep. word salad to get out of the segment, basically. Rob, bring us back. Tell us. Show us. <sighs> Is it still in commercials? Oh. Yeah. Okay. 
uh, uh, Amy, if you had any other thoughts, keep. I mean, I took some notes here on some of the things I thought were extremely disingenuous. She talks about the fact that Donald Trump left the economy and the job market in a terrible state, admitted the fact that it was when the pandemic started and literally nobody could work. How is she going to admit that from that very, what she thought was an impactful point that she made? Kay. But we could go through list by list. There's so many points. Here we go. To everyone in Florida that you're down here, South Florida, I want to give you a quick announcement. This Saturday at 12 o'clock, I will be at the Fort Lauderdale Barnes & Noble signing, signing books of Academy that just came out, first fiction book. I'll be signing your next five moves, and I'll be signing Choose Your Enemies Wisely. Come join us. I'm going to be there. Vinny's going to be there. Tom's going to be there. Adam's going to be there. I'll be signing for two hours. First come, first serve. You buy a book. You'll get it signed by me. Fort Lauderdale Barnes & Noble this Saturday at noon. Put it in your calendar. We'll see you there. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.